USA. Uh, we had Justin Heckman here with his badass blue Cobra Mustang, um, big block Chevy, twin turbos, uh, turbo 400 with a lockup, and you can see we made 2,944 horsepower. It was pretty stout. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell everybody how your day on the dyno was today? Yeah. Uh, so started out, I was actually super nervous. I've had a lot of bad luck with this car, so we ended up bringing it to Fuel Tech. It's got everything Fuel Tech on it. Started out, had some issues like normal dyno days, not nothing that they did, just stuff that we didn't check over before we got here. Once we got here, I think we made what, three pulls, four pulls? About four pulls, yeah. Four pulls, yep. And uh, about 28 pounds of boost, right? It fluctuated up to 31, but. Yep, 28 pounds when the lockup came on, which is that big swell that you can see right there. Uh, the engine RPM dropped a little bit, so boost went to 31 pounds. Um, but you guys got to see kind of the whole tuning process, how to manipulate your fuel maps and all that kind of stuff, which is really kind of what you guys were, were after coming here. 100%. So that way when you go to the track and you need to make any kind of changes, you're aware of uh, what tables to go to, how to change that stuff and everything like that. 
Um, we also went over, you know, reading your spark plugs and using all your data to kind of figure out what the car wants and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it, it ended up being a, a pretty good day on the dyno, I'd say, besides it kicked, your, kicked our butts a little bit in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, absolutely. There towards the end of it, it went good. I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you need to learn fuel tech or anything, I mean, these guys are the guys. They'll be here to show you everything about it. I mean, today, I mean, we were here, got on the dyno at 9, I think, made the first pool around 1, 1.30. I mean, we were done by... 3 30 4 o'clock right around there right yeah. around there and i mean knowledge full of people in here i mean it, it's definitely something if you have fuel tech on your car this is where i'd go well what kind of racing are you guys going to be doing with this uh we're looking at i mean obviously a lot of no time racing the car is built ldr but we've been venturing more towards the no time radial prep stuff uh plan on racing a bunch of marks there in texas and i uh, said so you never know you might see us down in georgia here pretty soon too all right well there you guys have it 2,944 horsepower, and trust me, there's plenty of boosts left to go, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, thank you.